Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? We are going to start our goddess drawing. And maybe I should have prepped before I started. I can't find my good, my good ruler. So we'll just use this. It shall work. I've been cleaning today. You wouldn't know it if you saw it, but I know. So let's talk about this for a minute. Um, Y'all know my goddess painting. And... Um, this is similar to what we're going to do. Are we on? Like, why is my, oh, because my computer's, don't ask. I'm like, why can't I see it? My computer's facing the complete other way. Um, this is kind of what we're going to draw today. We're going to do face. And, um, I'm going to give you tips and we're going to use our ruler. What's this? Oh. It's been a three quarter face yet. Yeah. I'm going to give you tips and on how to do it. What I want you guys to do is I'm going to put this video up today and tomorrow through, I'll probably give you till next week, you know, let you have the week. Um, most of us are finishing up our ETCs. A lot of people already got them. I'm so excited. Mine are going out. So, but, uh, so you can decide on the hair. Now I am going to use the, um, and you guys can too. I, and I did it in my other thing, the homemade modeling paste, molding paste, um, for the hair. So once we draw her, we're going to, um, erase her hair or you don't have to, you can sketch out whatever kind of hair you want. It's curly, straight, short, whatever kind of hairstyle you want. And, um, I only do hair. So I get an idea of the facial proportions in a sense. And then, like I said, I go erase everything and, um, you know, go over it with a uh, watercolor pencil or a colored pencil or just paint as I see. Um, so think about what color hair you want her to have eyes, um, think about, we're going to get into the background. Think about what you want to use for your background. Um, we're not going to go like all, you can go, I shouldn't say, I'm not going to go all explosion of mixed media. I think for me, this is my main thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? My goddess is going to be my main thing. Um, and then just add a few little things like my old, you know, my other one has like a quote here and I have little, you know, little things here and there that add to the painting, but not take over the painting to where the mixed media is so in your face that you lose what this is, because this is going to be the most important thing. Now you can research gods, uh, God, uh, blah, 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 blah. you can research goddesses, um, very simply. If you want to uh, see one that you relate to or whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't have to make this. I, I call it goddess, my goddess painting, because that's kind of the uh, to give you an idea of what we're doing. Um, but it doesn't have to if you don't believe in that kind of thing. Just think of it as a face. <laughs> You're just doing a beautiful face. And um, so I'm going to start. And we're going to start, I do crazy things in this. My book's almost filled with crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm going to fold this in half. That's what I do all the time. I'm sure y'all who do whatever you are into, y'all like to draw. You know, you sit and you do your thing. So what we're going to do first is, I wish I could find my Tim Holtz ruler. Oh my God, I said his name out loud. He's going to take all my money when all his new stuff from Cha comes out. Dang him. Okay. Um, so I'm using mixed media paper. If you don't have mixed media paper, use watercolor. If you don't have watercolor paper, use what you have. If you have printer paper, something you can do is glue, take a glue stick or glue, Elmer's glue, white school glue, whatever. I would water it down just a tad bit just to make it spread easier. But, and then I would glue two or three pieces of your paper together, let it dry. You'll have a nice thick piece. I'm not going to gesso this. Um, you can, you can gesso this. Um, but once I start painting it, um, 
And really, I might change my mind once I draw her. I don't want to draw on a gessoed surface right now. Um, now, something interesting, I don't know if you guys know or not, maybe it's only interesting to me. And this really, I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not with gesso. Um, the cheaper the gesso, the more um, rough the surface becomes. Um, if you buy a, I mean, I have very cheap gesso from Pro Art that, uh, like if I'm doing like an art journal page or something, you know, where it really doesn't matter as much. Excuse me, I'll use that. Um, if you don't have gesso and you want to seal your page, um, you can use just regular clear Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge. Um, I like, you know, Liquitex or Golden. Um, really, Liquitex gesso is what I use most of. I use a coupon and get it. I don't buy full price. But, um, you know, so maybe once I'm done drawing and I erase, I might want to gesso her. I don't know. It's kind of a decision that you make on your own. I am going to be um, using molding paste for her hair to add texture. Um, uh, my first girl I did, I mean, I, I've drawn a lot, but um, I did straight hair. And this time I might do curly. I don't know. I haven't quite decided. Um, might make her a little Medusa-like, like how I look when my hair naturally dries in the um, air. So let's get to getting so I can quit boring the hell out of you. So you use any kind of pencil that you have. Um, I told you about the Fabric Faber Castell um, kit that they sell at Michaels. It's where their drawing stuff is, where you get an eraser, you get all the pencils, and everything. Like this you get this pouch. Um, it's really great because you get all the different. You get the very good thin lead that is like. Um, sorry for my dogs. Um, and you know, I just told everybody I'm going to be recording. Could you just be respectful? Yeah. Dogs don't listen though. Um, you know, I, I think that if you want to get into drawing or you are drawing, um, this is a great kit to have. Um, I might not promising. Um, when I go to Michael's again, when they have a 50 off, I might, um, buy one and then do a giveaway on it. I also have, um, I'm going to be doing another mixed media giveaway, so keep an eye out for that. If you found me by mistake, make sure you sub because um, I do giveaways quite a bit. And I got, I'm already starting to pile up for the um, big 2000 giveaway that'll, I'm getting up there good. So, very happy. So, as always, get out a ruler. This is a cheap dollar store ruler. I wish I had my Tim Holtz one. Dang him. Um, I don't exactly know where it is. But I'm going to um, move down. You know, I'm like, what, maybe, let's see how far we can get you down. Maybe halfway down the page, you know. I'm going to turn it a little sideways just for my own well-being. Now, I have it. This is a page that I can tear out. So I'm going to start measuring from where I can tear out at, not at the edge of my paper. And um, this, the reason I hate this ruler so much, and it doesn't matter, it's my own thing, I just need to mark it so I know, is that if you see on here, and I've explained it before, the inches start in. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So I, it's not the end of the ruler, which most rulers that I've worked with are. It's You have to make sure that you're in that little bit of... Um, you know, of the ruler. So I have all those rulers sitting over here. I'm going to zoom in. And um, I don't know if it's my vision or I, or it's not focusing. I guess it's focusing. Maybe because it's so little. I don't know. Maybe because the white paper. So I'm going to make it straight. And I'm going to decide where I want my eyes at. And our eyes are going to be within probably your two to three line. Okay, of your inch. And then we're going to leave our three to four line and go to our four to five line. And then I'm going to see. Now that one means, now can you see how it's off the page? It's, it's way more, I have way more space over here. And I want to utilize that. So if that happens, and you know, I make mistakes 
um, purposely, and I make mistakes on <laughs> purpose, but just to show you guys that um, I must find my eraser. What did I do with my, I have all my erasers and no erasers here. Um, to show you guys that um, mistakes happen, like it's not, it's not a big deal. Don't get upset. When you look at, when you look at this, I'm looking at this and the right thing to do you know, would be to erase this and move it over more. So I'm just going to erase. I just very lightly did it. I found my magic rub. It's magical when it rubs you. And I'm going to erase it off. No big deal. That's why you use a light pencil. And I'm just going to go back. And I know that I don't want the same measurements. So I'm going to go into my three to four inch. And that'll be my first eye. I'll skip the four to five inch and then go to five inch to six inch. And that should be perfect. Can you see my lines? Because white paper on a camera really sucks. So you see? So that's that. Now, this is the general rule of having an inch eye, an inch in between, an inch. I don't usually follow that rule. I have to leave something here so it focuses. It drives me crazy. Um, so I usually just kind of uh, wing it and kind of do my eyes separately. Now, I want this to be a little bit... Um, I'm going to use a smaller canvas so than the canvas I used before. Um, so I'm going to leave my eyes like this. But if I was use, if we were using the bigger canvas that I had before, I would probably even skip... I would probably, and this is something you can do if you're using a bigger page, I would do maybe two and a half to um, three and a half and then go from um, five and a half to six and a half and make them further apart and longer, if that makes sense. I'm just going to do it because I'm using a smaller canvas for my drawing. Now, as always, we're going to go into the middle of this. So if you're very particular and you want to make sure you got it right on point, use your ruler and just mark your half. That's in between. And we're just going to draw a straight line down just a little ways. And I know it's kind of light. This freaking thing with the white paper. With all technology in the world, can't they just really... Can't the camera just focus on white paper? I'll do it a little bit darker. Okay, so can you see? So you no, you know, you don't need no necessary, you know, uh, length. There is no necessary length. We just want to bring it down because that's where we're going to be doing our nose. And then as you do that, and you have that line, about I don't know, maybe half inch quarter inch down, put another little line because that's where we're, we'll do our lips. Now I'm making a smaller version, like I said, because I'm using a smaller um, canvas. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do a bigger version for you in a different video and it'll be, I'll speed it up so you can get all the details on here of what I'm doing, but my other one, I'll do a bigger page so you can see it much better, if that makes sense, which I probably should have done now. But most of you are gonna be, I, I don't know if you're doing bigger or small. So I'm just trying to show you this and let's get through this part and then I'll do the bigger part. So we have our, you know, kind of where our eyes and everything are going. So I'm using a very light pencil you can use. I love mechanical pencils, I use those all the time. So I'm gonna make, my eyelids and I'm just going to connect the lines can you see let's move down just a little bit more and then I'm going to start at this line now you can do one of two things you can leave your bottom part I like to leave it flat sometimes and if you want to do that for the eye you can or you just go corner to corner. And as always, you're going to be fooling around with that. If we want to make this the way we want our eyes to be, straighten up already. Maybe that'll help if I put my 
Oh, well, I'm zoomed in and then there you go. If you want your eye to be like this and not, not wanting the oval, and then what we'll do is we have our, oh my God. We have our line. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry for my dogs. I, my husband and daughter are out there and I asked them, do you think they could control the dogs? Anyway, so you make the eye shut. Oh, Spire James. So, so I am so sorry. So you make the eyelid bigger. Okay. And that's the kind of eye we're going to do today. And I really apologize for the dogs and all the noise. I am so sorry. I really make an effort to not have that. Now, here's a tip for you, because I'm horrible at this. Lay your uh, ruler flat and mark where your highest point is over here. So I would erase this. All right. And then over here, I see that's where my tip starts. So of my eyelid. And then I'll go and draw my oval. And I'll be playing with that, you know, I'll be, you know, I erase and do all that. and But, so it'll give me my eye. Okay, and then they're generally the same. You'll sit and you'll play and, and you'll get yours, you know, the way that you want it. Now we want to do our nose. So, our nose is... And you could do a nose several ways, but I do a little U. I've done this a million times. You can do a round like that. But I do the curve. And then I do the nostrils. And I darken these in because that's kind of where the shadow will be. And then I'll erase my line. And then for the mouth, our lips, we see where our line is. I do another line like that. And it depends on what kind of lips you want. Remember the tip I taught you. Matter of fact, I'll do it. Remember we do, and we see our line, so we don't want to go over our line. You do the two circles that touch each other, and then the oval. Remember? And then we have our lips, and here's our line, and we have our lips, and then you bring it down, and you bring it down. And then you go in and erase. your circles and then you'll kind of go over bring in your little line you could do your little lip dip and because my pencil is a very thin pencil and has very sharp lead. It's pushing into my paper. But now I can see, and it's it's very good if you do see it. Um, if you look at it, if you have a camera like this or put it in the mirror where I can see that my lip is off here. Do you see what I'm saying? So uh, when I look, when I turn it to show you guys, I'm like, oh, I can see that that's off. So then that I have to kind of play around with it until I get it to how I want it. It's really not, you know, a big deal, but sometimes really putting it like if you don't have a camera like me where you can, or just taking a picture of it with your phone and then, um, doing that, 
or looking in the mirror with it or whatever, you get an idea of, oh, okay, I see where you know, where it's off. So I wish this would just die. Uh, should I used a different paper. What, what color could I use though? So let's work on our eyes very quickly. We're going to do now, I'm going to be doing a giveaway coming up for one of these. Those who have them. Great. I'm not going to, I'm not going to use them in this because I don't think it's fair for people who don't have them, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to make her eyes and I'm just going to do a circle around and a circle around over here. The same thing, circle around, circle around. Then I'm going to make her pupil. Now you can put her pupil in the middle of her eye if you want. That's up to you. And pupils too, like I said, that's why I use my circle thing because then I know my pupils are right on uh, as far as matching, but I'm not going to worry about it today. I, uh, I see that this needs to be up a little bit more. And this is all, this is sometimes, a lot of people don't like to draw because of this kind of thing. But eyes we can fix, like I said, we're just trying to put in everything. All right. I'm not going to complain about my neighbors right now, what they're doing. So, because I'm drawing a goddess. So I'm just going to kind of go in and sketch this out. And like I said, the lips, you want them bigger. You have your, your main thing. Make your things bigger. You know, maybe I want them bigger. Go in and, and see my hands are killing me today from the RA. So you have to excuse me with the marks I'm leaving on my paper because I'm pushing hard with the pencil, but I'm going to go in, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go. I always trace and then come down. And then you could trace this again. It just gives you more of a flow and you come down and then you go in and erase, take the cap off the eraser. It won't work. I should maybe use it darker. I can always draw it over again. If it's not working right. Let's see if this will work better for, so you guys can see. Yeah. Then you just go over and follow it, go in, do your thing. All of this can be erased. Yeah, you can see it definitely much better. Let's do the nose again. I take, I go over. Our eyes. It always amazes me when people, um, I'm just going over this with darker so you guys can see a little bit better when people draw in pen, like it's scary. I, like it, it amazes me. Cause I'm like, how I erase so much. Okay. So, so far we have our face now again, you know, you go check, you look, you see, you know what I mean? Now, what we're going to do is, one thing that you don't want to do when you draw, and I see a lot of people doing this, is leaving the eyes. People do the eyes and they don't put eyelids on. And when you do eyelids, you don't have to do deep eyelids, but you want it to cut some of that eye out. Okay? Because our eyelids cover our eyes. So look at the difference when I shade this in. as her eyelids. Of her eyes, they look a lot different. Now, um, once you get her painted up and everything like that, and that, that means even when we're doing a regular with regular eyes, when we have it underneath. Okay. Um, but 
that's something um, I notice a lot of people do is they don't put their eyelids on and they can be as dark. Like I think on my painting, I did like her, I gave her like silvery purple eyeshadow or something. I don't recall, but um, they can be as dark or as light as you want them. Now, I always like to kind of start it right here at, at the tip of the nose and just kind of bring up a little line. I only usually do one side. You can do both if you want. It's completely up to you. Um, at this point, you can do, um, you know, sometimes you can do, like I did on my other one, you can give her like a little bit of like a ball on her nose, if that makes sense, to give her more of a, uh, like a structured kind of nose. I don't dig that too much. Sometimes I do them. Sometimes I don't. In this painting, I'm not. And I hope I got the right pencil. So that's what I do for that. And like I said, and then you want you want your little nostrils in, which you know, when you're drawing. And then you can give her a little thing for her little chin down there if you want. Now, here comes the face. And this can become, this could be difficult for some people. I like to keep my face around the eyes. I guide myself. I know I don't, I'm going to mark down here because I don't want to go past that for my bottom of my face. And then I'm going to mark on both sides. And I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to kind of eye it up because it's not going to matter too much. So I kind of want to, I kind of have my guide of where I want to go. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to take her down and go to the chin and then come over here, take it down and go to the chin and you have your face drawn. Now you can look at it and say, okay, this side's wider than this side. Let me go and, you know, erase some of that off and make it a little wider. You know what I mean? But you have your guide. So it doesn't, you, you, you kind of are keeping it, keeping it real as they say. And then from here, we're going to do the hair. Now, we're going to put in some eyebrows. So eyebrows generally go, I'm, I'm really not going for like, that I'm drawing like this very realistic kind of face in a sense. Um, but I, they, I believe that they go from the tip of your, is it the tip of your lips? I don't know. That's how... It, I can, I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of put them in and I'm just going to kind of give her some eyebrows right now, just to give her the, so she starts to look real to me and do your eyebrows how you like to do them. And we're getting our face going. Now, if I go in and color, um, well, I don't want to do that. It'll blend too much with what I did with the eyes. So then we're going to do our neck and here goes our neck. And it's just because we're not doing her a body. She's going to be our main. She's going to be our portrait. Got her neck going. And now is when you decide on the hair. Now, generally when you draw, you're drawing an egg shape or like a, You see how that is? Because that's our head. That's our forehead. So that's kind of giving you an idea of your hair. You know, think. Um, if you want to do a side part, do you want a middle part? What do you want? Do you want her to have bangs? Do you want her to have just long flowing hair? Decide what kind you want. Um, I'm just going to kind of go with right now so I can just kind of show you. And you want to follow the head and the neck with the hair and you can give her a little bang, wispy bangs, whatever you want. And I'm going to turn her. And it's going to be the same thing. I'm just going to kind of follow the 
neckline because that's how our hair is. And I'm just lightly doing it. I'm not pushing hard. I just want to have a general idea of what kind of hair I want. And you play till you, you know. And then that's what we have so far. And like I said, don't worry too much about the hair or anything else because um, we're going to do molding paste. We're going to erase that and do molding paste or even put molding paste over that. Now, you see my face is rounder. And look how it changes. I just like to show you because there's different, I mean, you can make her look different. And you can even put hair going over her face too. But if I bring this up closer to the eye, let's say. And I'll bring some more hair down here. And some more hair down here. You see how you get different? And then you can make her um, hair kind of flow into her face. Give her more bangs. Or more flowing hair down, however you want to do it. And it really does change when you're doing it. Like I said, if I was just doing a middle part here, let's say. And her hair's going. And it will change the way she looks. The more hair. You can give her bangs. And I'm just going to kind of scribble these in just to give you an idea. If you like bangs or you have bangs. And she can have bangs. So you can do, I mean, obviously I did that a little bit dark there for the bangs, but you can do and change whatever way you want. If you want her face to be rounder or thinner or even longer, you can. It's up to you. You're the one doing it. So that's essentially what we're going to do is just get to this part. And um, again, like I said, what I always do is I, <laughs> I erase everything before I First, I'll erase the hair and just leave me left with the face, and then I'll cut the face out. And that's what I will glue on my mixed media piece. And then, once she's on there, I will paint her. Let's see, we're back just to or curl. And you can see how her face goes like that. Like I said, you can bring her in as thin as you want or as round as you want. Now very quickly, I'm going to do this very quickly, but if you're going to go big, Like if we're, if you want to use this whole page, like I said, I would just do, you know, do your measuring. I'm not going to measure here. So don't expect perfection. I don't believe in it and I don't have it. And maybe you want to do the round eyes. All right. Now that's pretty far apart. You know that when you're looking at it. So what, what do you do? You just erase it. And that's why you want to draw. So many people ask me, like, how do I know? Well, you see, that's kind of far apart for a face. And you can see there's several, you know. So bring it in some. Do your line here. Do your line here. Then do it. And just go. And of course, you're going to measure, like I said. And you can make these as big or as little as you want. And then you're going to do your 
Let's see, now that's not even in the middle. That's why I like doing, I do my lines every single time. Usually. I mean, no, I didn't, I, like when I was doing my doodle, I did. But she's going to be a bigger girl. A bigger goddess. And then I'm going to put in my eyes. So I'm going to take and make my eyelids first. And I'm going to take and make my eyelid over here. Okay. Now look, you can see that's definitely bigger than this. And I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger over here. And once you get your eyeball in, you'll play more. But then you just go in, put in your eye. Put in your eye. And this is for, to show you guys a bigger, ver like it, it, it in big form. This isn't perfect and this isn't, you know. Then I'm going to bring up my thing there. I'm going to do my lips. Now we can do our circles again. This is just so you guys can see it in a bigger capacity. I think I've said that 12 times. I'm sorry. <laughs> that fibro shit in medicine, which I took last night, my new, my one new one. And, oh, God, I'm not happy. And plus, I'm using my leads. My lead is uh, smearing. Now, obviously, these are big eyes, but I'm not going to worry about it. Depends on how big you want them. Then we'll put our pupil in. And your pupil can be in the middle of the eye or in as big and as, or as small as you want it. And she has her little, that little dippy thing if you want to put that in. And we could put in her eyebrows. Now for the, the goddesses, I like the flatter eyes. I can't, I don't know why. It just makes them more... I don't know if it's exotic looking or what, but that's what I happen to like better. But it all depends on what you guys like. I just go in and trace and kind of scribble in a little bit so I can see getting the eyes a little bit better. And then we're just going to go in again and do the face. Now you see I'm going to make her rounder. Maybe you want her rounder. If you don't want her rounder, again. Do your marks. And just stay with it. And just take it down. Take it down. Then I'm going to bring it up. And if the eye, your eyebrows go, it doesn't matter. And then just bring her her hair, we'll do her neck. Like I said, hair will be once we get her on the canvas or whatever you're using. Don't worry about too much. Like I said, you can have it come on her face if you want the hair. But you have a bigger face. And like I said, she her eyes, now pay attention to this when you're doing it. You can still see that the eyes are a bit are a bit big. Um, which is fine. You can have these big eyes, but 
um, if you make the, if you would bring these in a little bit more, let's say we started here and started here with our eyes, then this would be a small, like, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Then your eyes would be giving it a smaller face and it would be more of the goddess look, if that makes sense. Cause her hair can cover her eyes. It doesn't matter. You know, like partial eye. So we come over here and do that and make her have her eye. And do her eyelid. And do her eye. And you don't even have to draw the eyeball all the way down. You can leave some white there because when we color, you could put some white in. But let's just say... I'm being very quick about this, but and I'm using the smeary dark lead so you guys can see it better. But uh, let's move her over a little bit. And we can move her hair over here. Her eyebrow would obviously be moved down. I just want to show you the difference on how she's going to look. Very quickly. Oh, we're not doing the bottom part, that's right. And you would take much more care and all with your drawing to make sure it was more even than I. And her face is going to come here. And going to come closer to the eye. I know it looks like a hot mess. I hope it's making sense to you. It's the only way I can... I want you to concentrate on what's inside of this. Do you see the face? How different? Don't worry about the hair because we got eyes in it and everything else. But concentrate on that middle face because when we go, and her nose right here is too, too wide. And that's okay. So you erase it and you make it a little bit smaller. And put in your little things that will color later. But if we go like this, I'm on a racing fiend today. I just want you guys to understand. It's usually why I don't put hair in until I get my face drawn all the way. And I'm happy with it because I end up erasing it anyway. But you're going to see. The difference in the face and I can see here that I did not follow the line that I drew but look at how different she looks with the thinner face and then you just sit and you eyeball like I said and you play around till you're happy with it it's really simple that's the easy part the doing the eyes and all that's what gets people nervous and it's really not hard so I hope that this makes some sense to you, both of them. This is a much bigger version. Like I said, um, this can definitely be painted and worked on. I would erase like I do. Maybe I'll do both to show you. But, you know, this is basically it. Like I said, I do have a smudgy uh, pencil because I'm trying to get it dark on for the camera. But then you see when you bring it down and once you clean it up, 
and you go and you fix your eyes a little bit if they're a little bit off. Oh my God, these dogs today. I am so sorry. You know, and if we colored in her uh, her pupils, this has been the day, like the video from hell today, huh? Spire James, don't park. Okay, and we erase. God, I am so sorry. Oh my god. Okay. And you see. Now I can see here where she's a little wider. Is it going to matter much when I go to, um, maybe I want to make this side wider too. Is it going to matter when I go to add her hair and all? No, not really. But. You know, it's all in what you make it. It's all, like I said, turn it around and watch it. Some people like to make, you know, the, the face go out wider than the eyes. I like it when I do the god my draw my goddesses or whatever to be closer to the eyes. And I always am like sketching so I get I can see like what shape I want. And then when you get, like I said, once you get that hair going. I mean, it, it just changes everything. So that's, you know, the two different, like I said. But this is the one that I like the best when I do goddesses because I like these kind of eyes. So I hope this was helpful. Leave me questions because it's so hard to explain um, how to draw and do it slow and be good at it. Do you know what I mean? Like try to explain it. So leave me any questions you have. I don't care how silly you think they are or how little you think they are or whatever. Um, ask me to draw the eyes again. Ask me to draw the nose again. It doesn't matter. But ultimately, this is what we want to end up with. Now you can also, you, like I said, you can add your hair and everything like that. It doesn't matter. We're going to add molding paste to it. Um, and if you don't have molding paste, we'll figure something else out. There's other ways to do that to get texture, not a big deal. And um, we're gonna have fun. So this is mine, like I said, and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned from this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. Um, I tried to be as Kelly about it as I could. Um, my damn dogs, oh my God. I love them to death, but geez, oh, Pete. Um, so, yeah. So this is what you want to kind of end up with, whichever kind of eye you like. I dig this eye. I think it's more mystical and more, you know, that kind of thing. And um, so once you draw it, add it to the Flickr, tag me on Facebook, um, email it to me, message me on Facebook, tag me on Facebook, the whole nine yards, Instagram, the whole thing. And um, let me see it because I'm really excited. Um, a lot of you said you were very excited to do this. So I'm very excited to see it. Um, but ultimately, like I said, this is how I, I like to do it. So I hope that you guys learned something and I hope it was helpful. And again, if you need me to show you more, just let me know. Um, I appreciate all of you. Um, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, and... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry about my dogs. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. But I hope I hope that this is helpful for you guys. So thank you so much. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video, please. And leave comments for me to let me know what you thought and if it was helpful to you. Um, because that helps me in the future be able to help you do more things. I love to draw. I love to draw girls. I love to draw things and... Um, you know, I like, I love teaching. So, uh, you guys stuff. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. You know, I love the hearing from y'all. So I hope y'all have a great Saturday night and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Thank you for being so loyal and so wonderful and so fantastic. I'm so blessed. Thank you.